Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best camera phones. Starting at number 5. Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Beyond the iPhones, Pixels, and Galaxies in the US, Xiaomi's 14 Ultra proves that it's sometimes worth exploring the global market. With a 1-inch sensor at the helm, flanked by 50MP ultra-wide and telephone lenses, the latest flagship from Xiaomi captures some of the best-looking photos and videos I've seen on a modern-day smartphone. That said, if the device was more widely available in the US, it would take the best overall spot on this list. Until that becomes a thing, the Xiaomi is worth picking up only if you value professional features like manual camera modes for adjusting ISO, shutter speed, white balance, shooting video in log format and more. The cherry on top is Xiaomi's optional photography kit, which comes with a fitted case, lens attachments, and a camera grip. The latter accessory provides the Xiaomi with a physical, half-step shutter button, a record button, a dial for zooming in and out, and an additional 1,500 mAh of battery for those extended photo sessions. For what it's worth, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra goes nearly spec for spec with last year's 13 Ultra, suggesting that its predecessor was just that good. The newer model wins out with an updated Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, a front-facing camera capable of 4K recording, and more RAM. Coming at number 4. Google Pixel 7a. For a fraction of the cost of every other phone on this list, the Pixel 7a gives you a near-similar smartphone experience. I tested the mid-range Pixel for a month last year and kept asking myself whether a pro phone was necessary, that's how competent this $499 handset is. Another note, it's been almost a year since the Pixel 7a was released, so you can often find it for around $374 at major retailers. To be frank, the Pixel 6a from 2022 had already set the bar for the mid-range market, offering essential features like an OLED display, a reliable camera system that's backed by Google's computational expertise, and a software experience that includes all the fantastic Pixel features we've come to love, like Photo Unblur and Magic Eraser. As one Best Buy user said, Google's own features are brilliant and very useful. With the Pixel 7a, Google took things up a notch by adding a smoother 90Hz refresh rate display, wireless charging support, though it's capped at 7.5W, and its tried and tested Tensor G2 chipset for improved machine learning and overall performance. The processor also enhances the Pixel's photo-taking capabilities, allowing it to better capture various subjects in various lighting conditions. That's all accented by an inclusive 13MP front-facing camera with a 95-degree field of view, which from Znet's testing proved to be the phone's most underrated feature. Just be cautious of the limited storage size, at just 128GB, it's best to have a cloud service as a backup for storing all the photos and videos you plan on capturing with the Pixel. At Number 3 Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 while the Z Fold 5 is the best Samsung foldable, the Z Flip 5 will likely appeal to the masses. Not only is the clamshell-style handset less expensive than the Z Fold, but it's more compact and portable and is much easier to learn how to use. The shape-shifting nature of the Z Flip 5 lends itself to one major advantage of traditional slab phones, self-standing photos and videos. Thanks to a hinge that's sturdier than ever, the Z Flip can be bent at an angle so that either the front-facing 10MP camera or the two on the rear are facing you, all while the phone is set down on a table, chair, or bed of grass. I tested the flip phone for weeks and was impressed by how many refinements Samsung had made compared to the last Gen Z Flip 4. Thanks to the new 3.4-inch outer display, a gapless hinge design that one Reddit user says is free of creaking and improved durability. I noted in my full review that unless Samsung unveiled some form of XR headset by the end of last year, which it never did, the Z Flip 5 would unquestionably be the company's most ambitious product of 2023. Folks who thrive in social media and content creation especially will love the Z Flip 5's ability to switch between shooting styles like camcorder mode and flex mode. The camera system on this may differ from Samsung's latest S24 Ultra and Plus models, but it's reliable enough for the ever-growing industry of digital content creators. Number 2 of my list. 
iPhone 15 Pro Max. The latest iPhone 15 Pro Max offers everything a premium flagship smartphone should, including a brilliant 6.7-inch AMOLED display for work and play. The latest model also looks and feels different than any prior Pro Max devices, as it's made of titanium instead of stainless steel and, therefore, significantly lighter in the hand. This makes the iPhone 15 Pro Max noticeably more comfortable to use, as ZDNET Editor-in-Chief Jason Heiner noted in his review. Notably, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the best camera phone right now if you prioritize video recording. Perhaps it's Apple's bionic chip working its processing magic or just how social media apps are better optimized for video files recorded on the iPhone. There's no arguing that the best iPhone right now also takes the video recording crown. And if you want the most future-proof video feature currently available, spatial video recording, the iPhone 15 Pro series can get the job done. The iPhone 15 Pro Max also features a new 5x zoom camera lens the equivalent of a 120mm focal length on a mirrorless or DSLR camera. The far distance capturing and improved low light performance have been so reliable that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has become my go-to for video recording during product launch events. Lastly, a new action button replaces the mute switch toggle of older iPhones and lets you better customize shortcuts and easily open the apps you need including firing up the camera with a press and hold. Another prominent feature of the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the USB-C connector, particularly, one that supports faster charging and data transfers and can charge other devices, including the Apple Watch from your iPhone, directly transfer photos and videos into a portable SSD, and connect to an external 4K monitor. Recent iPhones will give you very good results, and no learning curve you will just have to press a button. So if that's what you want there is no better solution than a smartphone, one Redditor says about the 15 Pro Max, and I agree wholeheartedly. And number 1. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Samsung's best smartphone this year, for now, is also the best camera phone that money can buy currently. The Galaxy S24 Ultra builds on last year's camera prowess with a similar 200MP main lens, 12MP ultra-wide, and 10MP 3X telephoto, but a new 50MP 5X telephoto. That last sensor makes the most significant difference in far distance capturing and producing naturally blurred bokeh in portrait mode. While the numbers game points to last year's 10X telephoto being superior, Znet's Jason Heiner tested the S24 Ultra in full earlier this year and found that, the 5X telephoto, worked far better than expected and the results were at least as good as the 10x zoom photos from previous Ultra models and in some cases, they were sharper and less noisy. Thanks to larger sensors, the S24 Ultra delivers crisp, lively colored, and high contrast imagery that most users will appreciate. What cements the phone at the top spot are all the bonus features that enhance the content capturing experience, including the built-in S Pen that doubles as a remote clicker, the Galaxy AI features to edit and refine pictures and videos, and even the new anti-glare coating on the display to help users frame shots better when outdoors. As some Best Buy customers put it, the best part of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is the picture quality when using the new cameras, with AI features that are game-changing. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.